as of late especially, with the, all the grappling tournaments actually becoming a little bit more popular, upper body grappling has become such a huge thing. Okay? People, people uh, underestimate it still, people still underwork it. But I truly believe sometimes that uh, upper body grappling is probably one of the best things you can do for grappling in terms of developing your muscles, developing the stamina for grappling, and having like a real good awareness of the balance mm -hmm. and where you should go, how to use your feet and so forth. Sometimes it does look like dancing. For him, it probably is more like dancing than anything. But for us, we're trying to look for our angles, right? So we're offsetting, offsetting here, getting the movement. So once you stiff like that and you're moving it, intact with your opponent, you're losing a lot of opportunities for a takedown or you're stiffing out you if you're stiff and not moving moving how you should be then you're losing a lot of energy you're wasting a lot of energy so what I want us to do today is one of the most basic but one of the most fundamental Greco Roman setups that we've got. So I've got the underhook on this side and I'm controlling the wrist. So maybe we're fighting for the wrist, right? I'm not necessarily straight in control. The hunter might be the one doing that. I might be able to swim with the wrist inside and I'm going to sort of try start moving in inside and I'm going to start step, stepping in closer to him here. See almost like the knee behind it and I'm trying to drop my hips to the point where I'm here. See when I'm under him I've got my I've got my game of grip around him and I've got my legs engaged. I don't want to be doing this because I'll be lifting with my back. I want my making sure that I want to make sure that my my legs are bent and I'm almost like under my opponent. Right? Once again. So you're not hugging your opponent here, very important. You've got an underhook. Sticky, good sticky underhook. I often even grip like the shoulder blade a little bit. Look what I'm doing here. See what I'm doing here? Like I'm, I'm, using, I'm using my hip. So you whip, you whip your body well. So here, I've got my underhook. And let's say, hunter has got my wrist here. He's got my wrist here. I try to swim it inside, control his wrist and I've got my hips ready, I'm going to start stepping in, get the angle, almost like a 90 degrees angle, get my gable grip here. As a wrestler, you would lift him and go over your shoulder. Here we don't really need it, we kind of will turn and make sure we end up on top. I'm going to talk a lot more about the landing part, but what I want you, want you guys to be able to do is to be able to synchronize your underhook and wrist controls so you can get a better angle on the attack. So, underhook here, do not relax your arm here. Underhook has to be active at all times. If your underhook is not corresponding, if, sorry, if your hip movement is not corresponding with, to what you want to do with your underhook, it's your arm, it, instead of having an underhook, it's just your arm being stuck, right? One of my important things I've noticed, I, I've, I've, I've known it before, but on the higher level, I saw it with John Jones with his Glover Dictionary, when Glover had the lazy underhook here, and John Jones went bang! into his shoulder, so he could no longer fight for four rounds, he was with one arm, so, right? So, what I'm trying to say guys here, if you've got another hook, make sure you use it. If you don't use it, it's going to be used against you in the form of a wizard, right? Or something we're going to cover today, the wizard as well. But, I'm here, my butt's slightly up. We're fighting here a lot, so Hunter's got me here. He's controlling my wrist, I've got to get out. So I'm going to swim, starting with my pinky. Get my pinky inside. C grip, you don't even need to grip. All you do is just here, just a little bit of a C grip, boom. You see, I've got a different type of grip here, so I don't want to try to catch the one that I like. I've got to need to get the one that I need. Okay, so I'm here. Okay, a very simple takedown, yet it's very effective.